हेलो स्टूडेंट्स हम अभी ग्रुप डिस्कशन कर रहे हैं एक नया एडिशन इसको कहते हैं एडिशन मॉडलो एन बोलते हैं जिसमें एन क्या है एन एक पॉजिटिव टीजर है फिक्स पॉजिटिव टीजर है और एंड ए एन बी आर एन टीजर दे कैन बी पॉजिटिव और दे कैन बी नेगेटिव सो एडिशन मॉडलो एन को हम डिफाइन करेंगे ए प्लस एन बी ए प्लस एडिशन एन मॉडलो बी ये भी पॉजिटिव इंटीजर नेगेटिव भी हो सकते हैं तो हम इसको पहले इसको अंडरस्टैंड करेंगे उसके बाद इसको इस इस इसकी हेल्प से हम एक फाइनाइट ग्रुप को हम एविडेंस ग्रुप शो करेंगे सो so, जब हमने कहा कि ए इज एडिशन मॉडलो एन बी इज इक्वल टू आर हमारा जो मेन एफिस होगा रिमाइंडर पे रहेगा इसमें वॉट इज रिमाइंडर वॉट इज रिमाइंडर वॉट इज रिमाइंड टाइम एंड अगेन सो वेन ए प्लस बी डिवाइडेड बाई एन देन आर द रिमाइंडर सो इसकी नोटेशन हमने ये बनाई यहाँ पे एडिशन मॉडलो एन में इसकी नोटेशन है when when we add e and b and by n are the remainder so r will be always less than n and if 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 a plus b divided by n will be zero so the remainder will r will lie between zero and n minus one so if r will r will lie between zero and n minus one means zero less than zero so r is less than n where r is a pos r is a no negative or positive remainder when a plus b ordinary addition we will we will add them ordinarily just say as we done as you done in the classes when a plus b is divided by n and the fixed property right so for let's understand this what is mean this let us do first example is if you take a is uh, 6 and b is 3 and is equal to if so b is 7 and n is equal to 3 so सिक्स एडिशन एडिशन मॉड टू थ्री एडिशन थ्री प्लस थ्री प्लस सॉरी सिक्स प्लस थ्री सेवन सिक्स प्लस थ्री सेवन इज डिड सिक्स एंड सेवन एंड डिवाइड बाई थ्री सिक्स प्लस सेवन इज टू थर्टीन वी आर एक्सप्रेसिंग दिस सेवन एंड इफ यू डिवाइडेड बाई थ्री वी गट क्वेश्चन टेन रिमाइंडर थ्री इज द क्वेश्चन टेन वन द रिमाइंडर सो वन मस्ट वन द रिमाइंडर शुड भी Negative or positive, only positive. Our emphasis is the remainder must be positive. So in this case, in this example, one is the least non-negative. Least means least non-negative remainder when seven plus six is divided by three. Another example: if a is equal to minus twenty-four, b is equal to six, and n is equal to five, then minus six plus five, minus six plus five. Addition of five plus six is equal to uh, minus twenty-four plus six is minus eighteen. When you divide it by five, we got the quotient is equal to minus four into five. Now remainder should be positive, means plus two. So twenty minus minus twenty plus two is eighteen. So here we can't we can't write this is equal to this is equal to minus three into five fifteen minus three. Remainder will be minus three if we take. Uh, Quotient is minus three, then the remainder is negative. So, we, when we in addition modulo, when we divide the sum of two numbers by by a fixed number, then our remainder must be positive. Means more negative. We always be negative. Similarly, if both the uh, integers minus thirty five and minus we both they are negative. When the sum is divided by four, we got negative three. Sum is minus forty-five. So again, if you divide by four, if you divide by minus four, by four. So four eleven the four eleven the minus eleven four the forty-four. It will be negative. So we will concentrate upon the remainder should be least known negative. So we have to make that twelve minus twelve into four forty-eight forty-eight plus three minus forty-five. So remainder should be least least known negative. This <coughs> so three is the least no negative remainder when minus thirty five plus minus thirty five and plus uh, minus ten is divided by now addition equation of complements. Now let's understand what is this equation. How write it? 
which if a and b are comes to i such that a plus b is divisible by where we say the word divisible means the middle will be zero so uh, where n is a fixed integer then we write it as a plus and b is equal to zero the middle will be zero when a plus b is equal to n so this can be we are laying emphasis on remainder again so this this can be also be represented by a is congruent to b modulo n or a minus b is congruent to a minus b is divisible by a minus b is congruent to zero modulo n you can have this or this or they are all equivalent things which is the which we did as a is congruent to b modulo n or similarly a minus b is congruent to zero modulo n a is congruent to b modulo n or a minus b is congruent to zero modulo n now under the example let us discuss for when the sum of a and b is divisible by the n so if a is equal to 21 b is equal to 1 so a is congruent to by this using this 21 is congruent to 1 modulo 5 that is 21 plus 5 n 21 21 plus n, 5 and 1 is equal to 0 since 21 minus 1 is 20 which is divisible by 5 so we the same written as 21 minus 1 is common to 0 modulo n like this again 9 is common to 5 modulo n how can write it 5 9 is common to 5 modulo 2 that is we observe from this that means we can also write it as 5 plus 2 5 plus congruent mod to 2 plus 5 is equal to 0. We observe from this that if you take example a is equal to n and b is equal to 9 and n to 3 and 19 will 9 to divide 19 by 3 is equal to 1 which is less than n 3 or this can also be written as 1 is going to 19 modulo 3 or you can write this as 19 is going to 1 modulo 3 so this is equal to remainder here is 1 remainder here is 1 so both are equal so uh, 10 plus uh, 3 b 3 into 3 9 3 this is not 3 plus 3 is going to modulo sign plus 9 is equal to 19 modulo 3 for generation, after generation, we obtain that a plus uh, and b is equal to r. Remember, a plus a plus and b is equal to r. Remember, so r is equal to a plus b modulo n. a plus b, a plus b modulo n. Or this can be as r is congruent to, or we can add if this equal to this equal to this, therefore r is congruent to a plus b modulo n. This means that r minus a b is divisible by n so 5 by 10 5 minus 10 so if r minus a b is divisible by 10 then minus of r minus a b is also divisible by 10 so minus multiplied by minus 1 this is equal to a b minus r is divided by n so this can also be written as r is congruent to a plus b modulo n can be written as a plus b is congruent to r modulo n so both are equal second and third are equal now, if r becomes 0, then what, we, what which form of this second and third will take? It's going to a plus, a plus b is common to 0 modulo n or 0 is common to a plus b modulo n. So, they are equivalent things. Individual r will be 0. Now, let's discuss an example uh, to show that this is a thing. Show that the set of integers Zn of any integers and belong to Zn and Zn is uh, integer up to n, integer up to n, positive integer up to n. So, the set of integers form a finite abelian group because it has been defined of elements under the binary composition of addition congruence modulo n and is a positive fixed integer. So, given is given is n is a given n is a set of. Uh, in positive integers up to set of n positive integers. So n positive integers will be 0, 1, 2, 7, 2, and minus 1. So these are n integers. Composition is addition congruence modulo n. So addition 
let's again what we have discussed earlier let's define our you know, binary composition so for for all a b belong to get in a composition b can be written as a plus and b is equal to we consider the remainder when a plus b is divided by n least momentary remainder when a is divided by n so we will consider the remainder only remainder must must be less than n and greater than zero so that is a comes b is equal to a plus n b is equal to r is equal to a plus b if a is real how can we write it is equal to a plus b minus r, r is divided by n or we can write is a a plus b is equal to is common to r modulo n or r is common to a plus b r is common to a plus b modulo n now we have defined the binary composition we are given a algebraic structure of uh, uh, z and z algebraic structure of how many n no negative digits now our, our aim is to show that this algebraic structure z n with this binary composition addition modulo n Or this Z n with composition this, this symbolical this letter this is an algebraic group. So for this, we have we have found this composition table. This composition table. Composition table. So addition. This is the binary composition addition. We write the elements of Z n. Along this row and along this column, so writing them now, we add a plus b zero plus zero divided by n remainder is zero. Zero plus one divided by n is one. Zero plus two divided by uh, n two and so on to zero plus n divided by n remainder is so remainder we are adding this. Similarly, one plus zero one and so on. Two plus uh, one is equal to three. Three is less than n, so it's a remainder. So now here is this is uh, n minus one plus n one. It's n divided by n divided by zero. Now similarly, n plus uh, n plus uh, sorry, n minus one plus two is equal to n plus one divided by n is remainder is one. So n minus two plus two, n minus two plus two remainder will be uh, this will be n and divided by zero and so on. Get this composition table, and then from this table, we will study that whether this is an abelian group or not. So, we can do composition table. Now, since the elements of composition table are all integers, positive integers, implies that Z is closed. So, set of integer, set of integer as a whole, infinite number. Of, if, if set of integer contain infinite number of elements, and then the if you multiply two integers, you get integers. From this composition, all the elements. In the composition table belongs to Jaden. Jaden means it is closed under uh, this uh, one notion of addition modulo, addition common modulo, Ashley property. Since the elements of this are integers, integers Jaden are integers, and the integral addition is associative. Therefore, therefore, uh, the addition of uh, integers in Jaden also associative. Now, next is you can prove it also. If we take the elements a b from the z n, we can put this one. This is one, two, and five. One plus two, and one plus n, n two is equal to three. Three plus five, three plus n five is equal to three plus five. Three plus five eight. Similarly, this is two plus three five. Two plus two uh, plus three five plus three. Plus five, two is two, this is two, this is three, this is five, this is five, three plus five, eight plus two, ten, ten is ten is equal ten. So the remainder is the same because A, B, C are like that. Now it's all done. If you see the composition table, every mm, zero zero is element in every row. Zero here, zero here, zero here, and zero here and zero here. In each row, we are getting zero. So zero for all is given. Zero is considered. So a plus a plus g n b is equal to a, and it's equal to a plus n b. And this all is true. Means zero is the zero is the 
if you are 0 to any any of the numbers 1 0 1 2 and minus 1 then the remainder will remain the same if we, um, uh, we add a number this uh, a 1 2 0 1 2 so 2 and minus 1 to 0 we get the same number means uh, identity element for this uh, zn is g next is x of no symmetry for all a belongs to zn a means 0 1 2 and minus 1 there exists there is 0 belongs to zn such that a plus g and g n 0 is equal to a is equal to, is equal to this is identity element so for inverse element inverse of 0 itself is 0 inverse of 0 is equal to itself so 0 is here this is 0 so 0 into 0 is equal to 0 and 0 to left left uh, inverse of this is this and right of this is this and this is going to be this identity element now similarly in the second row the 0 is in the second row this so right inverse of 1 is n minus 1 and left inverse of n minus 1 is 1 so in every row we are getting 0 therefore therefore for all a belongs to for all 0 also belongs to zn for this so that for all a non 0 non zn there exists n minus a non zn such that a plus n n minus a to 0 that is n n minus a is the remainder when n minus a, a plus a is equal to 0 n minus a what do you mean this n minus a n minus a is less than n a plus n minus a cancel n divided by n is equal to 0 similarly a plus uh, a plus n b is congruent to 0 1 to n or n a plus b n a plus a is going to and a minus a this is n, a, n minus a plus a is common to this is equal to n minus a means n and the is equal to zero. so if these are imply that these are imply that what is what, what does it imply it implies that this is equal to a plus n into n minus b n minus a is equal to 0 is equal to n minus a uh, plus n a n a is equal to plus n a is equal to this equal means inverse of a in zn is n minus a for all a inverse of a zn is zn is since the composition table is symmetric about the principal diagonal this diagonal, this principal diagonal, this is principal diagonal, one, this principal diagonal, this one, two, four, not three. This is zero, two, uh, four, six, eight. This diagonal, so please, zero, zero, one, one, two, two, three, three. So we take about this. So this implies, this implies, commutative of the whole thing, gentlemen. So for all a b from Zn, whether a plus b or b plus a is divided by n, the then the least known integer is the same. Implies implies uh, the set Zn set Zn consisting of is that is consists of these elements uh, uh, from a abelian group under the composition of addition 